Hi everyone, Harry Chickma here with a legend in the world of coaching, head coach Ed Krass. I know you've done so much at Harvard, Clemson, but also the college tennis exposure camp, something that helped me go to Rutgers, taught me the way. Tell me about the camp, coach. Well, the camp is uh, really the only camp on the, in the planet taught by head college coaches, so it's really an exciting uh, camp to put together and, and create for all the kids that really want to learn about that junior transition into college tennis. So we take them from ninth grade up to the 12th grade, and it's exciting. Uh, it's a real exciting camp for the kids. And, you know, not many people are doing what you do. It's such a, uh, you know, an anomaly getting recruited to colleges. Many kids don't know how to do it, but you have the experience. You coached at Harvard, many other places. So tell me about the knowledge you have that you can share with kids. Kids. Well, I've got the experience. I used to also coach at Clemson, and you know, uh, uh, the big thing is knowing what uh, you have to do as a recruit. And there's a certain protocol the kids need to follow, and we kind of give them our secrets of what we like them to do, and and how to do it by on their own, and, and, and be recruited properly, and, and and how to and how to recruit the coaches. So there's a whole bunch of uh, secrets there, and we love sharing them. What's something that a coach would want to see in a young recruit? I mean, what are some of the great traits that you tell the kids to have in order to play for their dream college? You know, you have to have the all-court game. You have to build that all-court game. Uh, you have to have game plan B and C and D. And, uh, you know, we really uh, stress the work ethic, great attitude, effort level, and they learn a lot about that. Of course, that transcends with all sports. but. Uh, of course, the tennis game getting totally organized with both your singles and double skills is what it's all about. And I know about 10 years ago when I went to the college uh, tennis exposure camp, I learned how to write a letter to a coach. I also learned what it was like to email a coach, what to say, what not to say. So much has changed, though. I mean, the SAT scores aren't even the same as they used to be back then. So uh, what are some of the secrets now? You don't want to give all of them away, but what are some things kids can learn here at the camp? Well, they're going to have to uh, learn about increasing their profile, and their profile really is their uh, GPA, their SAT, school comes first, you know, and then of course their uh, their ranking, if, if they can certainly get that ranking up as high as possible. you got tennisrecruiting.net, you got the USTA rankings, and getting out there and playing the tournaments and improving upon uh, the quality of your play uh, day in and day out is critical. And is there a college for every kid out there? I mean, there's so many different levels, D1, D2, D3. But like for every single kid who wants to play college tennis, can they find a place for them? Oh, absolutely. There's so many colleges. I would say uh, there's a good mix of over 300 Division Ones, and, and there may be uh, three to 400 Division Twos, and there, I think there might be about 400 Division Threes. I don't know the exact numbers, but if you really want to play college tennis, you can find some colleges out there that uh, would be perfect for you. And uh, what are the biggest joys you have? I know you helped me fulfill my dream, going to Rutgers, teaching me things. That must make you feel very good. Led to a fun TV career. But what are some of the best joys you've had seeing these kids move on and fulfill their dreams? You know, I love the uh, just the success stories I hear from the college coaches saying, hey, uh, uh, coach, you remember when we had this fella in camp and now he's playing number three for me and he's really producing and being a great, solid citizen at that college and getting the college degree. I think that's what it's all about. And playing college tennis is the ultimate goal. And how can kids uh, get in touch with you to sign up for the camp? They can go to our website, collegetennis.com. Uh, a great uh, website. It has everything from all the head coaches that are coaching there to how we run the camp, the schedule. And uh, we do a camp in December at USF every year. And we do, one, uh, we do one at USF in the summer and a couple at Lehigh. So they can study our uh, website carefully. Well, Coach, thanks for everything. You are the best. Coach Ed Kras, the College Tennis Exposure Camp. Harry Chickma with a legend in coaching. Come check out the camp. Hi everyone, Harry Chickma here with head coach Tim Gray from Auburn, a big time program. You guys battling some of the best teams in the country, really top Division One sports. How's that going for you with the Tigers? Good, good. Uh, I just finished my sixth year at Auburn and uh, it is uh, uh, competing in the Southeastern Conference is uh, very tough. Uh, no easy outs uh, from week to week, but it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, you know, get to uh, see some pretty high level tennis. And you're here at Lehigh with Ed Crass and the College Tennis uh, Academy and the Exposure Camp here. How is this helping you get to see kids and also work with kids who have dreams of playing D1? Yeah, I mean, I love giving back to the game and uh, that, that's been so good to me. And so it's, it's good to, to come out here. I've known Ed for, I think, about 25 years. His, uh, his younger brother was my roommate in, in junior college. And uh, I think I, I first met Ed in 85. So just being able to come here and uh, there's, there's really not many kids that are going to play in the Southeastern Conference at this camp, 
but giving them an, an opportunity to, to kind of feel what it's like to, to do drills and be around coaching and, and whatnot that, that they may see someday in the Southeastern Conference is a lot of fun for me. So it, it just gives me an opportunity to give back a little bit. And in the event that you were to see a top player that's going to play in the SEC, which is really tough, what are you looking for in that player here at the College Tennis Exposure Academy? Well, we, we want kids that are that are well-rounded players, um, and, and that's one of the things that Ed really tries to do is is make sure that these kids see everything. They, they play the one-on-one -on -one doubles. They're, they're serving a volley in, and, and uh, you know, the game has become such that the doubles is huge. Even though it's one point in college tennis in Division I, uh, that's a big momentum uh, uh, component. So it's uh, we, we want those kids that are well-rounded, that, that know how to compete, and, and we, we see a lot of it out here. A lot of kids that maybe they, they don't have the talent, but we see the heart and we see how hard they work, and, and that's a good thing. That's a plus. And what are your goals uh, coming up in the next season? Well, we, we had a lot of injuries last year. Um, you know, two years ago we beat Georgia when they were number one in the country, and, and we made three tournaments in a row. And uh, yeah, we want to get healthy. And we, really good recruiting class that came in this year. I think our recruiting class was number 12 in the country. So uh, you know, we want to make the tournament again. We want to compete well in the SEC tournament and uh, try to knock off some of the the big dogs. And you have a lot of top players playing college tennis, Jill Kravis, Lisa Raymond, she played for Florida, and also, you know, on the men's store you have John Isner. So talk about college tennis and how it's growing and helping kids. Yeah, you know, I, I think um, it, it, it appears to the college coaches that the USTA is getting a lot more involved in college tennis, and, and clearly they've made some initiatives and are spending money uh, to kind of bridge the gap. It used to be 15, 20 years ago uh, that the USDA took the stance that they, they really wanted the, the, the kids that they, uh, you know, deemed tour players to go straight to the tour. And uh, I think guys like Isner or, or, or you know, Jill Krabus, Lisa Raymond are really doing a lot to, to show players that, hey, you can go to college. It is a great springboard if you find the right program that's going to continue to develop your game uh, to really get you ready for the tour. Final question, one-on-one -on -one doubles the college tennis exposure camp. Uh, how do you get involved with that? How do you get in touch with Coach Kress? Uh, CollegeTennis.com. Um, you know, it's definitely something that, that we would love to see on every college campus in the country. And, um, you know, it's, it's a fun game. A new twist to an old game is, is what I would say. But uh, Ed's the guy. Well, Coach Gray, best of luck in the SEC. Big time pro tennis. Harry Chickma with the head coach of Auburn here at the College Tennis Exposure Academy.